This is independent practice 4.2. Hopefully you've done these and you're just checking them to see how you did. Um, okay, let's do the first one together here. Well, I'll be doing it. You've already done it. 20 times 3 fourths. I'm going to make that into a fraction, which I can just put a 1 under it. So now I do 20 times 3 with 60 divided by 4. And then when I do 60 divided by 4, 6 goes in there, 1, 4, that's 2, bring down my 0, 20, it's 5. So it's 15. Okay? 3 fourths of 20 is 15. Number 2, 14 times 2 sevenths. Make that into a fraction. Fraction times fraction. Easy peasy. Just go across. So I have 28. And 1 times 7 is 7. 28 divided by 7 is 4. Okay. 10 times 1 fifth. Make that into there. 10 times 1 is 10. 1 times 1 is 5. 10 divided by 5. 2. Okay? 3 fourths times 6. Make that into a fraction. 3 times 6 is 18. 4 times 1 is 4. Okay. I can reduce this, dividing each side by 2. That gets me 9 halves. So then I'm going to do 9 divided by 2. And that would be 4. And subtract that, it's 1. And so then I have 4 and 1 half. Okay. The way I can always check to make sure this is right, I do this 2 times 4 plus the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so it's 9 halves, which is the same as that. Okay? Let's do this next one. 2 fifths times 11, or 11 over 1. It's 22 on top, 5 times 1 is 5. Okay? So how many times does 5 go into 22? It goes in there 4 times. 4 is, that's 20, leaves me with 2 on top, and 5. Two, 4 and 2 fifths. Four and two fifths. Okay, do this one. Six times one is six. Four times one is four. I'm going to reduce this. Cut it each by two. Um, divide the top by two and the bottom by two. It's three halves. Then how many twos go into three? Just one. Leaves me with one over two. One and a half. Okay, let's do this word problem. A male Cuban tree frog is about two-fifths the size of a female Cuban tree frog. The average size of the female Cuban frog is shown at the right. What's the size of the male? So this one's six inches. So it's going to be six times two-fifths equals. I'm going to make that six into a fraction. Six times two is twelve. One times five is five. How many fives go into twelve? Two of them, which is ten. That leaves me with 2 over here, and then 5. So 2 and 2 fifths inches. So a male frog is very small compared to a female frog. All right, number 8. The Mississippi River is the second longest river in the United States, second only to the Missouri River. The Mississippi, Mississippi is 23 20 fifths the length of the Missouri. Oh, my goodness. This is going to take some uh, little multiplication. So, 23 twenty fifths times, um, let's see, 2, 5, 4, 0. I'm going to put that over 1. Okay. Now, 23 times, that's crazy. 2, 5, 4, 0, times 23, 0, 12, 15, 16, 3 and 2 is 6, and another one is 7, add a 0, let's see, that's 0, 8, 10, 4, 5, 
0, 2, 14, that's 8, 5. So 5, 8, 4, 2, 0, divided by 25. Okay, now, I have a little division problem. So I'm going to come over here. We've been doing division last chapter, so we should be able to do this no problem. 5, 8, 4, 2, 0, divided by 25. Try and stay in line here. Doesn't go into 5 at all. 25 goes into 50 two times. There you go. Subtract it out. That's 8. Then I bring down my 4. Now it goes in there three times. That's 75. Okay, subtract that out. That's 7, 1. That's 9. Then I bring down my 2. And I have 92. So now it goes three times again. That's 75. Subtract it out. That's an 8, 2. Let's see, that's uh, 7. 17. And I bring down my last one is a zero. 25 goes into 170. Well, four is a hundred. Five is 125. Six is 150. Seven is 175. So it's six. Six times 25 is 150. Okay, that leaves me with a remainder of 20. So it's going to be two, three, three, six. I take my remainder, 20, and put it over this number right here that I was dividing it by, 25. So, I'm there, but I could reduce that. This 20 25ths, I can reduce that, divide each side by 5, and I get 4 fifths. So my answer is going to be 236, 2,336 and 4 fifths. Okay? Whew. Intense. Okay, let's erase this because I think I'm going to need this information here. Come up here. I think we have two left. One evening, two-thirds of Mr. Th Mrs. Thorne's students watched a reality television show. Of Mrs. Lombardi's students, four-fifths watched the same reality show. Which teacher had more students that watched the reality show? Okay, let's find Mrs. Thorne at 36. So 36 times two-thirds. Okay, that's going to be Thorne's class. And now let's do Lombardo's class. That's 30 times 4 fifths of her class watched it. Okay, so I'm going to make that into a fraction. There you go. Now I have 36 times 2, which is 72, divided by 3. And when I do that, I come over here, 72 divided by 3. goes in there 2 times, that's 6. 1, bring that 12, 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 0. Okay, 24. So, Thorns equals 24 students. Watch the show. Now, this one. 100, let's see, 30 times 4 is 120 divided by 5. 120 divided by 5, that's 2. 10, subtract it out as 2, bring down my 0. Four. Uh, Twenty-four. Wow. Um, it says, which teacher had more students that watched the reality show? Neither. They both had 24 students that watched it. All right. Cool. Now, let's do one more. This table shows where 6th grade students at Sherrington Middle School attended 5th grade. There are 156 6th grade students. How many more students attended Sher Sher 
Sherrington Elementary, then Deacon Elementary. Okay, so we got to do 156 times Sherrington, which is one half times one half. Okay, that's going to be 156 divided by 2. And 156 divided by 2. 56 divided by 2. That's 7, 14, 1. Bring down my 6. Um, 78. So 78 students. Right here. 78 students. Now, how many were from Deacon? So 1 fourth. Um, so we take 156 times 1 fourth. Make that into a fraction. I get 156 divided by 4. I come over here. 156 divided by 4. Goes in there 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract it out. I get 3. Bring down my 6. 36. 9 times 4 is 36. That's even. No more numbers. So 39. So 39. Now it says... How many more students attend in Sheraton Elementary than Deacon Elementary? So I find the difference between the two. 78 minus 39. That equals a 6. That equals 18. So that's 9. 39. So the answer is 39 more students. Okay? A couple multiplications with fractions. Then a subtraction to see who had more. Cool. Have any questions, let me know. If you're good, go ahead and go on to the extra practice on page 271.